Hello, welcome to Order Up. Can I take your order? Wow, I've never been here before. You have a lot of menu items. Yep, Order Up. It's is a one-stop fast food restaurant. You can just you can get just about anything. No need to decide what kind of food you want before you pick a restaurant. Our slogan is, it's all here. I see that. There are hamburgers, pizza, tacos, Chinese subs, hot dogs, pasta, barbecue, fish, chicken, shish kebabs, wraps, club sandwiches, crepes? You even have crepes? That's right. It's all here. That's the largest menu I've ever seen. That's because it's all, it's here. all here. What about grilled cheese? Oh, oh, never mind. There it is. I see it. You have 10 different kinds of grilled cheese sandwiches. It's all here. Can I take your order? There must be something you don't have. Let's see. I bet you don't have... Hmm. What about... I know. Able skivers. Able skivers? What's that? <laughs> I knew there was something you didn't have. Able skivers are specialty food from Denmark. They're round pancake ball things. Oh, I was just kidding. They're number 47, Able skivers. Would you like that as a meal? What? Oh, you do have them. Oh, that's amazing. I guess you were telling the truth when you said... It's oh, all here. So, one order of Able skivers? You know, I'm afraid that you might be spreading yourself too thin. How so? There are too many f items on the menu. Most places do one kind of food, so they can just focus on making that one kind as good as possible. It's the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none concept. I mean, you can't really have good everything. How do you know until you try? Can I take your order? Let me ask your opinion. In general, how good's the food here? Not very good, but there's a lot of choices. Can I take your order? Hmm. Trade-off. I'm not sure which I prefer. One choice of really good food, in which case I'd have to go somewhere else if I didn't want that food, or a whole bunch of different choices of not very good food. In which case, you should stay here. Oh, I see you have turkey fried steaks. It's all here! I love turkey fried steaks. I know you said the food's not very good, but on a, that not very good scale, how are the turkey fried steaks? They're terrible, but they're really big, and they come two to an order. So you could eat some now, and then save some for tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. Hmm. It's a toss-up. I guess I could feed it to my dog, too. My dog won't eat it. Would you like fries with that? Funny you should mention that. I was just noticing that you have 17 different flavors of fries. Aren't all fries just potato flavored? It's all in the spices. There's salt, salt, pepper, salt, pepper, and <laughs> cilantro, cilantro, and cinnamon, cinnamon, and sugar, cinnamon, sugar, and nutmeg, nutmeg, and parmesan chocolate shake. Okay, I get it. I'm just not sure. You guys really need to change the menu. Remove about 95% of it. A try a less is more concept. You haven't even tried anything and you're already suggesting changes? You make a good point. What's the smorgasbord in a bag? I have everything on the menu to go. I could sample everything without having to make a decision? That's a really good idea. Or you could give me a whole bunch of really good idea. Or you could give me a whole bunch of really bad ideas. Hmm, let's see. One really good idea, or hundreds of really, really bad ideas. Another toss-up. That would be $6.98. Well, the smorgasbord in the bag it is, then. And did I mention that I love when the three of you all say, It's all it's here. It's all here. Your order number is four. We'll call it when it's ready. I'm going to wash the tables. Hello. 
Welcome to Order Up. How may I take your order? Yes. I just want a large doc Dr. Pepper. Sure. One large Dr. Pepper. Here's your cup and a straw. You can fill up your glass right over. No, 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 no straws. Are you crazy? You don't like straws? Let me tell you something. I love straws, but do you have any idea how dangerous they are? Uh, I guess you could accidentally poke yourself in the eye. You have no idea. Look, let's say you're out to dinner with your best buddy, celebrating your birthday, and you order a nice, searing hot cup of coffee, or a boiling cup of tea, or even a lava temperature hot chocolate. The waiter accidentally hands you a straw, just like the one you handed me. They're individually wrapped. And instead of basement and take a huge gulp, if the straw melts, the liquid will flow freely into your throat. That's not good. And I'll tell you why. The scalding liquid scorches the soft tissue of your tonsils and causes your throat muscles to widely contract, closing off your windpipe. You try to suck in a breath. But your throat won't open. You can't cry at your neck. A nearby server thinks you're choking on a piece of steak. They rush to help and Heimlich your guts out. You try to suck in some air, but they keep pushing it out. You can't inhale. You can't exhale. You see that dark tunnel everyone talks about before they lose consciousness. There's only one thing left for you to do. And your resulting death is all due to that straw. Thank you. You possibly saved a life today. Did you want ice with your diet, Dr. Pepper? Oh, I see. Because I'm having a cold drink, you think that a straw is harmless. Well, let me tell you something. Once, I saw a kid take two straws and connect them together. Then he added a third. I've done that. You can make like a three-foot straw. Exactly. Do you know what that kid did next? He slipped the end of his three-foot straw into his unsuspecting friend's drink on the other side of the table. And he sipped it down! Huh. Cool. I think Scooby did that to Shaggy once. Soda pop, soda pop duck is no laughing matter. Did you know that if you connected 500 million straws together, they would make a straw so long it would wrap around the earth twice? How do you know that? I wrote my fourth grade science report on things that can wrap around the earth twice. I could drink a Frenchman's Diet Dr. Pepper from here. Exactly, and that's why we shouldn't use disposable straws. Isn't that just a straw man argument? Get it? Straw man argument? Let me tell you something. Because I love straws so much, I carry around a stainless steel straw. Stainless steel, huh? Cool. I guess you cannot connect those together. I also have a bamboo straw and a straw made from the shin bone of a squid. I use them according to what mood I'm in. I don't think squids have... But I'm also inventing a straw that you blow into instead of suck. You can already do that with one of these. Never. Besides, making bubbles in your drink, why would you want to blow through a straw? Listen, buddy, have you ever worked at a fast food restaurant? Uh... Let's pretend we're in a restaurant. You notice a teenager choking on an egg roll. You rush over and you Heimlich them. The kid spits up the egg roll, but there's only one problem. What's that? You Heimlich them to death. Now they're on the floor and not breathing. You prepare to administer CPR. You position the head and you're about to place your mouth over theirs when... What? What? Have you ever seen a teenage mouth after it's devoured three egg rolls? Let me tell you something, it ain't pretty. There's no way you're going to put your mouth on that. So you pull out your Simpsons easy to use blow straw, trademark pending, and you stick one end into the egg roll victim's mouth, and the other you simply blow into, reviving them and becoming the hero of the restaurant. 
Wow, you sure know a lot about straws. I think I understand now. One cup, no straw. That's better. I don't want anyone to think I'm crazy. This place is getting too rough for me. Hey, did you read this new company policy? Hi, can I get up? Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. I was just ordering when you interrupted me. Sorry, it's company policy. If we don't welcome each patron, we get in trouble. Oh, well, that's not a bad policy. What can I get for you? I need two chicken big boppers. Two chicken big boppers! What? You surprised me there. Okay, my heart is racing. Uh, all right, um, also let me get three McWhoopers, no pickles. Three McWhoopers, hold the crumbs! Excuse me, is that absolutely necessary? Yes, I'm afraid company policy. See the paper? It's company policy to scream out at the top of your lungs what I'm ordering. It's company policy. It's for the cooks. See, they already start cooking your food and you haven't finished ordering. Okay, I guess that speeds things up. I also need Four orders of onion rings. Four rings with lots of tears! That's really disturbing. Other places use microphone. We do it this way because... It creates an exciting atmosphere for our valued customers. At least that's... That's how the company policy reads. Exciting is not the right word. What else can I get you? A double teriyaki bowl with extra rice and regular teriyaki bowl without rice. This guy also wants a tea bowl heavily on grain and single no grain. This guy? That sounded deobratory. It wasn't meant that way. Look, could you just put the excitement away until I finish ordering? It's a little uncomfortable. Why? I don't really want everyone in the restaurant to know what I'm ordering, or the people across the street for that matter. I see. I'm very sorry. Is there anything else we can make you for you? Seven mini beef sliders, no mustard on three of them. You're not going to believe this. They also want seven slippy moves. Hold the yellow on free. What do you mean by that? You're not going to believe this. Why would you say that? This is an active, adaptive company on a company on how much food you're ordering. It's a company policy. You know anything for dessert? As a matter of fact, yes. A chocolate shake, a vanilla shake, two cinnamon twists, a raspberry cheesecake, and hold the commentary. A chocolate shake, a vanilla shake, two cinnamon twists, and a raspberry cheesecake. Talk about gluten in this, pigs. Oink, oink. What is the matter with you? I told you hold the commentary. Better. I suppose. So you want the condiments? Yes. All right, cheese, not too loud. Anything to drink? A Diet Coke. After the high quality, high cow, and high fat junk food, they want a Diet Coke. As if they're on a diet. Look, I've just had about 
enough of you. You're insinuating that I'm going to eat all this food by myself. You can see that I have a list in my hand, which implies that I'm obviously picking up a large group order and I'm taking it back to an office or someplace like that. Of course, I'm terribly sorry. I shouldn't have an insert insinuated anything. Will that be for dine in or carry out? Dine in. Very good. Your number is six. We'll just take your What do you order mean you're going back. to bring my order back? What do you mean? You just screamed it to them. They can't hear us all the way back um, there. <laughs> Policy. No more screaming. Oh, that makes more sense. Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take... Uh, can I use the bathroom? The key to the restroom? What for? Uh, isn't it obvious? Maybe it's dumb. All right, five is uh, t chasing me. Uh, I need to place to hide. Nope, I don't believe you. Why not? I've seen that dance before. That's the potty dance. No, oh, it isn't. I'm just a uh, fidgety and I have restless leg syndrome. Someone really is chasing me. All right, then. Who is chasing you? My parents. You need the key to the restroom to hide from your parents and you have restless leg syndrome, which just happens to make it look exactly like you're doing the potty dance. Yes! If that's true, why are your parents chasing you? Does it matter? Can you just give me the key? I'm afraid we're going to need some answers before we give you anything. Fine. You know how when you're a little kid and your parents are always saying, Do you need to go to the party? And make sure you go to the party! And we're going to the car for a while, so do you need to go to the party? Sir, kids would rather play than take time to the restroom. Well, I'm sick of it. But you're not a little kid. Exactly! Thank you. But they're always treating me like a little kid. Tell me where to go to the party! Happened again this morning. I'll bite. What happened? This morning we were packing the car because we we're taking a long tri trip to visit Gam Grams. Like we do every summer. We were just about to get in the car and my mom says out of the blue, Do you need to go to the party? And I said, No. Then my dad says, We're going to be in the car for a long time. Six hours, you better go. Why would they just randomly think I need to go? Are you dancing like that? So, I refuse and get back in the back seat. Then we stopped across the street for road trip treats. But then they tell me I should go to the potty while we're stopped. Why would they tell me to go to the potty? Just stopped. Were you doing the sitting version of that dance in the back seat? That's besides the point. You would think that I'm old enough to decide on my own when it's potty time. You would think. So I jumped out of the car and ran here. To get the key to the restroom to hide from your parents and have uh, parents and you have restless syndrome, which just happens to look exactly like the potty dance. Exactly. Fine, I don't have restless leg syndrome. I admit it. I'm doing the I knew that was the pot. 
dance. I can spot the potty dance from miles away. Don't tell my parents, please. Oh no, that's my mom. Uh, I gotta hide. Please give me the key. Wait a minute. Are you going to use the restroom for its intended purpose? No, I already told you I'm going to hide it. So you're doing the potty dance. Your parents call you out on it, and you want to hide from them in the restroom, the very location where you can alleviate your dancing, but you refuse just out of spite? See, now you are getting it. Can I please have the key? She's coming this way. No. Our restrooms don't have keys. They're unlocked. <laughs> Oh no, I, now I need to hide. Hey, I need that dance. Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? Yes, one burrito with green sauce, please. Sure, one burrito minus red plus green. What? One burrito minus red plus green. What do you mean minus red? Do you want the red sauce? No, I want green. So, minus red plus green. I understand the plus green, but why do you have to minus the red? Because you don't want red. I don't want guacamole either, but I didn't say minus guac. If I put minus red, then that takes the red sauce off. So you make the burrito and you put the red sauce on it and then you take it off minusing it. What? Do you have to scrape the red sauce off and then put the green on? Why would we do that? Well, you said minus red. In order to minus something, it, all it must be present. Or you wouldn't be able to minus it. So does that mean the red sauce is already on the burrito and then you minus it by scraping it off? No, it just means we don't put the red sauce on it. So minus red tells the burrito makers not to put any red sauce on it. Right. Tell me, does the burrito come with onions? No. Then why don't you tell the cooks not to put onions on it by saying minus onions? It doesn't say that on the register. Does the burrito come with the Snickers bar? No. Do you see where I'm going with this? anything to drink. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. If I were to order a burrito with red sauce, would you say minus green plus red? No, I would say one burrito. Why wouldn't you say minus green plus red? Because it wouldn't say that on the screen. Why wouldn't the screen say to minus the green? Because the green isn't already on there. In order to minus something, it must already be present, or you wouldn't be able to minus it. What do you think? The burrito comes pre-made with the green sauce already on it, and we minus it by scraping it off? I can't seem to wrap my brain around this. Minus red plus green, but never minus green plus red. Has anyone else ever... Nope. You're the only one. You know, you could have minus red minus green. Would that solve your problem? You can't just eat those things dry. How about plus red, plus green? Green and red sauce mixed together? What would that make? A sort of olive color. It tastes like pickle juice. Could I get plus green, plus red, minus olive and pickle? There's no button for that. So that will comp complete your order? Listen, I'm a curious person. I need to know things, and I can't get past why you say minus red, but not minus green. You're starting to bother me. That's what I was going to say. Fine, give me the burrito minus red plus green. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all out of green sauce. Then it looks like we're at an impasse. Not necessarily. <sighs> We will now take your order, minus you, plus the exit. Can you believe it? He still wants his burrito. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, hush. Why do you always have to pull me around by my ear? Because if I didn't, you would still be in my basement playing video games on that silly phone of yours.
Well, hello, welcome to our app. How may I can help you? Do you have an application? No. Do you? Oh, I don't need an application to take your order. You just tell me what you want and we'll get it for you. No, an application to apply for a job. Oh, a job application. Sure. Have you ever worked at a fast food before? It's not for me. It's for my lazy kid. Lazy? Huh. I wouldn't put it that on the application. You are hiring, aren't you? Yes, we are. We are actually looking for a cook to start immediately. You hear that? They're looking for a cook. Oh, joy. Does she have any experience being a cook? Oh, sure. She knows how to put frozen chimichangas in the microwave, and she can pour ketchup right on the plate. He, she never gets any on the table. Um, there is one small problem, though. She has food allergies. Well, she doesn't have to eat anything. She's allergic to... You don't make anything with shellfish, do you? Because shellfish... Shellfish always makes her left elbow break out in a rash and itch uncontrollably. Left elbow, hmm. That's weird. We do have a few shellfish items, but as I said, she doesn't have to eat them. Oh, he doesn't need to eat them. He doesn't even, she doesn't even need to touch them. She just has to hear the name of the shellfish and it's all over. Watch this. Hey, you. Oyster. Oh, Mom, stop it! See what I mean? That's not too bad. I guess we have to watch her language. You guys don't make anything with dairy, do you? Because just hearing the name of something in that food group also sets her left elbow ablaze, and it causes a bump to grow on the top of her head. You know, like a cartoon character who gets hit on the head with an anvil. Check this out. Don't have to. Hey, you. Milk. Uh, stay down, stay down, stay down. See what I mean? Cut it out. Maybe he should get a job where they don't mention dairy or selfish products. Don't forget seasoning. You guys don't make anything with seasoning, do you? What kind of seasoning? because seasoning really does a number on her. Check this out. Hey you, salt and pepper. Er, stay down, stay down, stay down. Todd, ah! would you stop it? See what I mean? Have you been to a prosthetic? For food allergies? I think she'd fit in real well here. There's only one problem. Do you guys make anything with meat? Um, she's Don't allergic. you say it. Don't you dare say it. She's allergic to meat? Not meat in general, just specifically named meats. If you say it, I'll tell her your allergy. You have allergies too? Just one. But this isn't about me. They need to know so that they can avoid any unpleasantness while you're working. If you say it, I say it. Listen, we actually do call out a lot of food of items. We have to tell the cooks to repeat orders to customers, you know. We do mention those foods quite a bit. So if she's allergic to hearing the names of the foods, maybe this isn't going to. Hot dogs! Ah! Stay down, stay down, stay down! you know.
no. You hear that? Things are looking up. This place is too weird. Better go label this too weird. Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? G.A.s. Can I get the feel it? Oh. I'll feel it. I'm sorry, I'm not quite getting you. One more time. <clears throat> a feel it. A feel it? Is that what you're saying? Feel it? Yes, one feel it, please. I'm sorry, we don't serve feel it, so I've never heard of that. It is right there on your menu. A feel it or fish. Oh, that's a filet fish. Filet. It's a French word? Oh, I thought it was feel it. I suppose if you don't know French, one filet of fish what else can I make for you? Three tacos. Nope, you'll have to say that again. Three tacos. Tacos? Tacos? Do you mean tacos? No, tacos. It's right there. Tacos. That's pronounced tacos. It sounds like talk, like TikTok, or as in you talk funny. Tacos. Well, it looks like tacos. It isn't. One filet of fish and three tacos. So will that be all? One more thing. A real meal deal. Has anyone ever told you that you have a very interesting accent? Hey, you're the one with the accent, pal. I guess that's true from a certain point of view. Let's take this one word at a time. Real. 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 I don't know that word. Rhymes with Bill? What's say Bill? Like Ali McBeal? No, oh, that's McBeal. I'm saying Bill. Like, when you pay for your food, you might give me a $10 bill. Oh, I think I understand. You'll know that... Oh, <laughs> oh, Bill, you mean a $10 bill. Oh, I think I understand. You know that nursery rhyme where the two kids climb up to the well and fetch some water? Could you say that first line? Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay, that's enough. So, you say deal and heel, and just out of curiosity, what do you call this part of the foot? That's your heel. Oh, I see. So, you say long E for short. I, and a short I, and vice versa. Now that I know the rules, where did, what did you order again? A real meal deal. Oh, a real meal deal. Got it. Finally, but... You're saying it weird, and I feel like this has taken forever. I feel like we struck a dill on your mill, and you got it for a still. Would you like to try the bill? No bill for me, please. But finally, you're talking good. It was hard for me to understand you before. Once I figured out how to pronounce things, it was real easy. Well, it's about Tim. What? It's about Tim. What's about Tim? You mean my brother Tim? He works here tomorrow. No, not your brother time. I mean, it took you a long Tim. Oh, got it. Yes, yes. Sometimes it takes me a long Tim. At least that's just our, pro at least it's just our pronunciations that are different. Can you imagine if words had different meanings for us? Oh, that would be awful. Now, can you please just give me my hat? Hat? You want a hat? Will this one do? I don't want your food. I want the hat I just ordered. Oh, oh, I see. We'll call your number when your hat is ready. Your number, Elovin. Obviously. Meanwhile, I need to remain visible to all customers. And meanwhile, I'll just still be cleaning this counter. Finally, they're making sense. Where is everyone? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were someone else. You scared me for a moment. Well, I would like... Um, who did you think I was? Number Eloven. Oh, oh, sorry. It's not ready yet. I said it wrong. Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? Can I get a Big Daddy burger with fries and a medium drink? For here or to go? To go. 
Great. That'll be five dollars and two cents. Uh, here's a ten. Four dollars and ninety-eight cents. What are you doing? Can't you see I was reaching in for my into my pocket for these two cents? You don't need two cents. You already gave me a ten. That's plenty enough to cover your bill. I don't want to carry around ninety-eight cents in my pocket. I've been trying to get rid of these two pennies all day. Why would I want to carry around a dollar's worth of change and a bunch of ones when you could just give me a five? I don't get it. Look. The total is five dollars and two cents. If I give you ten dollars and two cents, then you can just give me back a five. Oh, then you wouldn't have to carry around a whole bunch of change and ones. I get it. I'm sorry, but we can still do that. Good. Here's my two cents. Let me put this money back, and then we'll um. I already closed the register. Then open it. It won't open unless you buy something. I just bought something. It only opens once per purchase, and it already opened for that one. There's got to be another way. Only a manager can open the register for a non-purchase, and the manager just left. So you're saying that the only way not to carry around a dollar's worth of change is that I have to buy something else. Apple turnovers are exactly 98 cents. I don't believe this. All right, fine. One Apple turnover. For here to go. To go. Ha! Huh. I see. The register opened. That'll be one dollar and four cents. You said 98 cents. I forgot about tax. That messes up everything we were trying to do. Uh, sorry. Do you still want the turnover? Can you cancel that transaction without a manager? That I can do. No manager required. Perfect. Cancel the Apple turnover, and here's the two cents. Now you can give me back a five. Um... I just shut the tail. Natural instincts. You still owe me five dollars. I can't open the register unless you buy something. And let's try it again. One apple turnover. Anything else? No. For here to go? To go. That'll be one dollar and four cents. The register opened. Good. Now do not shut the drawer. Good. Now put those two pennies in. Perfect. Now do not shut the drawer yet. Fantastic. Now take out a $5 bill. Excellent. You're doing well. Now hand me the five. Oh, rapture. You may now cancel the Apple turnover. It's canceled. We did it. High five. Sure. Hey, how are those apple turnovers anyway? They are so good. They're like the old McDonald's ones before they changed them. You know, I think I'll try one. One apple turnover, please. That'll be one dollar and four cents. That'll be, um, no, 3.96 is your change. Is that for here to go? For here. You're number 12. Oh, dang, now the drawer won't shut. I've got a hammer in the car. Hello, welcome to Order Up. 
It's all here. Can I take your order? <laughs> Would you like to order something? <laughs> Just order when you're ready. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. <laughs> what can we make for you? Yes. Yes, you can help me. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, I really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. So, what can we... <laughs> I'd like a number. My boyfriend just broke up with me. <laughs> what number was that? This was our favorite place to eat. We came here all the time. We're order of fanatics. <laughs> Perhaps a chocolate sundae would brighten up your spirits. <laughs> that was our favorite dessert. <laughs> then perhaps I'll just give you a few more moments to decide. Okay. <laughs> You've made a decision yet? Okay. <laughs> This I'll have getting, that. <laughs> this is getting awkward. I'm very sorry, but you're holding up the line. I am. Sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Listen, breakups are tough. Everyone goes through them. Really? Have you? Lots of times. What about you? Oh, yeah, I've been broken up with seven times. Seven? <laughs> we used to share a number seven and sit over there and laugh. <laughs> I'm eight. I've been broken up with eight times. Eight, okay, not seven, eight. <laughs> we used to sit over there in the booth as we ate at number seven. <laughs> That's all the loud cry you have there. Thank you. <laughs> Perhaps you just need some time. You know what they say. Time always heals all wounds. Time. We used to eat here. All the time! <laughs> That's a new one. Listen, you're a busy person and I don't want to waste any more of your time. Continue of experience in which events pass from the future to the present to the past. So, I propose that. <gasps> well, I thought he was going to propose to me in this restaurant. <laughs> was that your dream to be proposed in a fast food restaurant? You know, a romantic over a proposal. We could have gotten married next to the bun toaster, and we could have had a reception line over near the condiments. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really do weddings. Maybe you should try Taco Bell. Bell? As the wedding bells? <laughs> no, as in wedding bells. As no, no, as in Taco Bell. <sighs> Or you could try any other place besides here. I'm sorry. I'm ready. You can order now. Really. I'll take one marriage proposal, four kids, two, two girls, a side of growing old together, 
and one large apple <laughs> ever after. Would you like fries with that? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, your number is 13. We'll call you when it's ready. I'm going to go check if any of the cooks would go on a blind date with that. Hello, welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? Yes, earlier I heard from across the street somebody ordered a McWhooper, and I thought that sounded delicious. So I tallied over as were, and here I am, mouth of water. One McWhooper. Anything else? Uh, hold on. Uh, did that be finished? Um, I believe so. I remember the documentary I saw on how they process beef. It was just awful. I can't, I can't eat that. Uh, cancel the pooper. How about the pulled pork? Excellent choice. Wait, pork, huh? As a matter of fact, the pulled pork does contain pork. It's pulled. Uh, never mind then. I also saw a documentary about pigs. Uh, not pretty. Maybe I'll go to with the fried chicken. Have you seen a documentary on how they process chicken? As a matter of fact, yes. And that's why I'm trying to become a vegetarian. Then perhaps I could interest you in something without meat? That's a wonderful idea. Ooh, a veggie burger? Uh, what's in that? It's actually pretty good. They take a bunch of vegetables and dice them up real fine, then compress them all together to make a patty. Very healthy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it had that many vegetables in it. You didn't realize the veggie burger had veggies? I saw a documentary on how they harvest veggies. Well, no one likes to see vegetables suffer. Oh, is that a thing? We have a nice fruit salad. Maybe you'd like to try that. Uh, that depends. Does it have apples in it? Yes, I think apples are one of the main fruits of the fruit salad. Uh, do you know if the apples have been picked? Well, if they weren't picked, you'd have a large tree sticking out of your salad. What I mean is, were the apples plucked off the trees or did they have to fall off naturally? Let me guess, you saw an apple documentary. No, but I've personally seen the harvesting of an apple. I'll never forget it. Uh, the sound still haunts me to this day. What happened? It was August 4th last year. I was on my way to the bus stop and I walked past the house with the beautiful green apple tree in the front yard. Right when I lowered, the homeowner reached up and viciously pulled the apple from its natural habitat. I could hear the stem being separated from the branch. It was one of the cruelest things I've ever seen. I thought I could hear the apple screaming in terror. But you didn't, because apples don't scream. They're apples. Exactly. And that's why I vowed there and then that I would never support the cruel treatment of not only apples, but any fruit. I would only eat fruit that have died a natural death. So I'll ask you again, were the apples in the fruit salad murdered? I'm not sure. Some of them could have fallen off the tree from old age, or it's possible some of them pulled themselves from the branches in a misguided bid for fruity freedom, but it's most likely they've been picked. I don't chance it. Besides, we'd have to go through all that again for each fruit in the salad. That's mainly why I'm becoming a soyetarian. A soyetarian? Is that someone who only eats soy? No, it's someone who doesn't eat fruit, veggies, or meat. Well, we have a soy burger. I've never tried it, so... Uh, does it contain legumes? I believe that's what soy is made of. So, one soy burger? Uh, well, I heard that soy can cause chronic inflammation. And of course, you don't want to risk chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation? Soy just tastes terrible. I can't stand it. Maybe I'll become a daritarian. A daritarian? You want some milk? Are you- am I crazy? 
Otter pulling is barbaric. Not a Nutatarian? If that's someone who deals with nuts, then I must be them. It's someone who doesn't eat meats, vegetables, fruit, legumes, or dairy. So, do you eat tree nuts? Actually, I used to eat tree nuts until I learned how they cause people who are allergic to them. So they can fit on their left elbow and do a ballet leap followed by a pirouette. Besides, do you know that cashew, where cashews come from? They grow on top of apples, so harvesting them is cruel to two food groups. That's why I'm becoming a grainitarian. So, breads are okay? Wait, no, I heard somebody say men shall not live by bread alone, so no, grains are out. I don't think that's what it means. It sounds like you can't eat anything. That's why... I'm settling on becoming a watertarian. Watertarian? You mean water? You'll only consume water? Yes, one cup of water, please. I'm starving. And oh, uh, do you have thick water? Thick water is easier to chew. One cup of thick water. And that'll be zero dollars and zero cents. We'll call you when it's ready. Oh no! I know who that is. I'm out of here. Hello. Welcome to Order Up. It's all here. Can I take your order? I've been um, watching you. That's not creepy at all. What would you do if I did this? <laughs> and what about this? <laughs> Or this? I take your order. No, you may not. You see, I am the health inspector. The health inspector? What's that? You don't know who I am? I've never met you. No, but someone like you should always know the face of their enemy. You're my enemy? In a sense, yes. You see... I have power over you. I have power. I have power. I have power! How so? Are you sure you don't know what a health inspector is? I assume you inspect health. That's right. I go into restaurants such as yours and I expect for health code violations. If you have too many violations, I shut you down. How would you do that? I have Power. I have power. I have power. Health inspectors provide a valuable service. We protect the public from potential violations that could seriously damage their health. Is this a new thing? Health inspectors have been rescuing people from restaurants for over a hundred years. What did people do before that? They died. What? Why would they die? All right, let's do a little simulation. Let's say this is a restaurant saloon in the early 1800s in the Old West. You're a proprietor and I'm a customer. I walk in like this. I walk funny because I'm wearing spurs. I approach the counter and I say, give me a warm milk with cow hairs in the bottom. And you say, why would we put cow hairs in your milk? No, no, that's not what you say. It's a valid question nonetheless. Because you just milked the cow I was bagged by hand and naturally, with your unfiltered, unpasteurized milking system, a few cow hairs fall into the milk and sink to the bottom. But you say, coming right up. Okay, coming right up. Come on, use a gruffer voice, it's the 1800s. Coming right up. You give me my warm milk with cow hairs in the bottom and I drink. But then I die. You die from a cow hair? No! I die from the arsenic you put in it before you served me! Arsenic? The poison? Why would I put poison in your warm milk? Because there's no health inspectors around to stop you! And putting poison in someone's warm milk is a clear violation of the Federal Health Code 326. It's a clear violation of common sense, too. 
couldn't we just use that? I mean, we pride ourselves on our own customer service. Our number one rule is never kill a customer. We mean it when we say, y'all come back, you hear? I have power. I have power. I have power. You said that already. You see, if we do stuff like killing our customers or breeding cockroaches in the back, it should be a real put off for our clientele and in essence we would be shutting ourselves down since we'd love any repeat business i have power i have power i have power all right listen i'm starting a level five inspection everything better be in order just remember you have power exactly welcome to order up it's all here can I take your order? That looks fun. What, this counter? It's just a plain, ordinary fast food counter. Not the counter, taking people's orders. I guess if by taking people's orders you mean going to the beach, then yeah, I can see how that could be considered fun. I used to take people's orders. Oh, what restaurant you did you work at? I'll give you one guess. It's the restaurant that decided nobody likes clowns anymore. And so they got rid of all their clown logos, pictures, references. And now when you go to the drive through to order into an adorable clown statue's mouth with a microphone in it, guess what? The clown statue isn't there. You know why? They blew up the clown! They blew it up? With what? I it! On top of that, I lost my nose! And a clown is supposed to have a big red nose! It's gone! Sorry they blew you up. I'm the one up! Can I take your order? Oh, I thought I heard a customer, but that's your job anyway. I'll be quiet now and fade into obscurity. Sorry they blew you up. Thank you. It's been such a long winter. There, there. How come you're not patting me on the back in a comforting manner? Oh, sorry. There, there. You have a tone. What? I did not have a tone. This is my regular tone. There, there. See? No tone. I think you're wonderful. Hey, I've got an idea. What if you worked at the counter for a little while? Would that help? Really? I don't see why not. <laughs> Great! I promise not to let this turn into a circus. <laughs> I don't see. Oh. Call them out, clown. Number 14! Order up. Order up. It's empty. <laughs> That's an automatic five-point deduction from your inspection score. Why? No hairnet, helmet, or visor. Do you think that people want clown hairs in their water? Actually, I'm a heritarian now. I have power. I have power. I have power. <laughs> Common sense! To which child it beats me? Spineless little fraction of a human being! Have a nice day! I'm starting to like clowns. Number 13! Order up! Order up! What is this? A coupon? This coupon is good for one free round of speed dating at Hurry Up Dating, the speed dating company that helps you hurry up. 
It's time for you to find your happy ever after. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Number 12! Order up! That's me. I heard these apple turnovers are just like the old McDonald's turnovers before they changed them. I'm really excited because I was so sad when they changed them. Oh, and I have 96 cents and coins in my pocket and it's driving me crazy. No, oh, sometimes change is bad, but don't discount it because it's change. Sometimes it can be good. Oh, we got the register closed. We don't need the hammer. This isn't for the register. I mean, it might turn over the way I used to. Oh, uh, number 11. Order up. Thank you. I'm sorry, what? Thank you. Thank you. Nope, you're doing that on purpose. No, I'm not. Let go of my hat. <laughs> How do you start paying attention to the way things are pronounced? I will never do that. Yes, I win. I am the winner. Are you sure? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, hush. Hi, um, there's something I forgot to put on his job application. Is that the application? If you'd like, uh, what is it? It's another allergy, but it's not a food allergy per se. However, it is related to food. You guys don't have a bell or some kind of signal that lets you know when the food is ready, do you? The worst part about this allergy is that it's highly contagious. When he starts in, everyone in the room is affected by it. I had to throw away my dinner bell and just let her, let her guess when dinner is ready. Oh, it shouldn't be home. There's not a dinner bell anywhere here. It could happen with any kind of signal. Number eight! Order up! Ah! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! Stay down! He's hired! He'll start tomorrow! One burrito, minus red, plus green. I thought you were out of green sauce. Oh, we were, but we found some. We found some green sauce, all right. You'll really like it. A little advice. Never argue with the person who is preparing your food. Um, okay. I guess it's time to eat my green burrito. Minus red. We better add slime to the menu. Already done, my friend. Already done. Uh, are they gone? Hey, you're doing my dance. Do you need to go to the party? No. Number six. Order up. There you. There you are. Your hat. Your father and I have been looking all over for you. Do you need to go to the potty? For the last time, no. Let me go to the potty on my own terms. It took so long to find you. We're going to have to eat in the car now. Here we go. We didn't know what to order you because we couldn't find you. So all this food is for your father and me. Order up. It's all mixed together. Yep. Or in a bag. Could I get it to stay instead? What do we do? No, not me. <coughs> <coughs> I have to turn it back, and I don't have any straws.
You saved me! All in a day's work for me and my Simpsons easy to use life resuscitation system. Cat name. Would you like some of my smorgasbord in the bag? Don't mind if I do. Intentionally miscommunicating. Yes! You've got to really watch people, otherwise life becomes a circus. We really are a clever clown. We'd like to thank you for all the, your hard work. Order up! Order up. Really? For me? It's all here.